I'm here at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art and I thought I'd share some of these textile designs. They're Cuba textiles and European modernism. Um, it says in the 20th century the mysterious allure of African art profoundly affected modern artists such as George, don't know how to say it, Braquet, Paul Klee, Gustav Klimt, Henry Matisse, and Pablo Picasso who were searching for new modes of pictorial and perceptual imagery. Many of these artists collected African textiles and were inspired by the visually arresting Cuba textiles from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Men and women of the Cuba culture jointly produced raffia textiles embellished with a dazzling array of geometric patterns. Um, so the fiber comes from a plant and both men and women collaborated in the production of these textiles. Um, which linked concepts of cultural identity and community responsibility, but to Cuba's spiritual beliefs as well. So they're rhythmic lines and geometric forms and patterns. These are some panels here. There's one long panel here. And I'll read you about that. It's a ceremonial skirt. Um, it's a uh, raffia palm plain weave applique design. Get a close-up look of the fibers. They keep it dark in here because fabrics are very sensitive to light. You can see the little fibers there. I was trying to see if there was a repeat pattern in the panel. They're geometric shapes and they're actually applique woven and applique and sewn together. You can see the hand stitching. And down here on this wall, there's several more geometric designs. So these are part of the costume and textile collection here at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. That one's interesting. It looks like almost a floral motif even though it's very geometric. could see how it could also be interpreted as um, upholstery fabric or pillows. Here's another example of textiles. This happens to be printed. And it is from France and it was done in 1920. So 1920, but it could be interpreted um, on a textile pattern today.